Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the last day of the week, of course, in this first week of June. And it could be an interesting one with lots going on for markets to digest. Let's have a look at what's happening now as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, we saw a pretty flat session in the US after the buying came in the previous day. Perhaps a little bit of cautious preparation for tonight's non-farm payrolls data. And the US futures are really not moving very much. They are just above neutral net in Asian trading. And Asian equity markets are generally slightly higher, but following that cautious US lead. ASX is up around about 0.3%, which is towards the highs of the day. And European futures are pointing to a near neutral open. I think all this, of course, will change once we get that number later today. The US dollar index is testing 200 EMA support. And commodities continue to bounce after that recent sell-off. We saw prior to yesterday's buying back into commodities. Gold breached that 23.50 level and held it. And he's now around about 23.75 as we're recording this. Iron possibly a move back up to 2400. Copper's up again in testing 470. And oil bounced off those January lows back over $75 again. Which probably means OPEC will breathe a sigh of relief, one would suspect. Bitcoin paused around about 70,000 yesterday after moving up earlier in the week and is still eyeing those record highs around about 7.3k. At this stage, pretty flat in Asia today. So again, we may get more movement later in the session. As well as that non-farm payrolls data out of the US, we've got Chinese and German trade balance numbers, German industrial production and jobs and GDP numbers out of the Eurozone also due. So plenty going on today for markets to digest so worthwhile being slightly cautious in terms of the high risk data that's coming out later on tonight a couple of charts that caught our eye today webjet we're liking we're seeing it retest uh, this key level and getting pretty close to that nine dollar level again uh, this spike was on the back of some corporate news we will we wouldn't be surprised to see it come up and retest 950 or even 980 uh, should it breach this level that we're at now, we did pull down st almost straight away. But that would represent a possible move up of around about 9% at the top of that long candle. Uh, and even if it makes the middle around about 5% in the short term, looks potentially on the cards. But you can see these higher lows uh, suggesting the trend is most definitely up. In the FX market, I put the GB pound Aussie on a 30 minute chart. So you can see the interesting price action over the last three days. We've got this bounce from 191.75 to the downside up to around about 92.30 to the upside. And it looks as though we could be setting up for another one of those. You can see that we've essentially traded within a very small range in the last few hours. So we're looking for a potential breach of 191.90 to take us up uh, those 30 to 40 bits. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.